Yeah, I can barely hear it at all. Hey everybody, we're back. We got Advanced Adventure. What do you think about Advanced Adventure, Tom? Eh. <laughs> Last time we left off, the game was bad. Will it improve its um, score today? Now, Tom was under the impression that we got farther than this. But I don't think so. This is where I remember being. Hmm. And that core fish is new. It is raining. That's the true thing. Actually, it started snowing. Earlier it was raining on the last stream. It's kind of interesting, Tom. You know, there's this saying. Uh, Mel? Oh. S Swinner Mel. <laughs> there's this saying. Every, every light casts a shadow. And if Mario Star Road is the light, then this is the shadow. shadow. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm trying to, to think. Pokemon Advanced Adventure is the, the eventual end of everything. When you think about games, this is where it's all going to, Tom. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, so little substance, so, so little, uh, what makes games enjoyable. This is just all this, uh, really pretentious and, um, sort of drawn out gameplay. That's, that's where we're headed. No, please, not I, there. Not there anymore. Like, don't think about there. it. Like, your two main choices for games. Either A, you're playing Candy Crush. Yeah. Or some Facebook thing. Remember Mafia Wars? Me either. Um, or, or you're playing one of the big new releases. And more so and, and more and more, this is what you're getting, Tom. It's all style and no substance. The problem is, is that their style isn't as good as they think it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big problem here. Yeah. What do you think of Azumarill? Also, why are you doing so poorly? It's, I'm not doing poorly. This game's doing poorly. Oh. Fair enough. Just just blame it on Advanced Adventure. I'm really tough already, now. I know. Tom, you're not just really tough. You're really tough. Also, battle me. Ammonite! Shouldn't... What's that doing there? I um, Shouldn't run away, though. Do, do fossil Pokemon show up in the future generations? No. Not like that, anyways. Yo! Welcome into the stream. Good to have you. I'm thinking, like... We, the the la last stream, we were, we were essentially running on... We were playing, you know what, I think streaming is yeah. kind of different from, like, reviewing, like, games. You think Everybody so? wants to see you, like, review a bad, bad game and say, oh my gosh, this is such a bad game. Mm -hmm. But everybody wants to watch you play a good game. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, because you, you remember our most popular video on the regular channel is Green Eggs and Ham. A, I would say, a uh, objectively poor game. Would you agree? Yes. Don't make me play it again. I, 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 I promise I won't say anything. I, I think that people like watching bad games. It's just, with RPGs, they, they go on forever. You know, I love a bad game. Blue Sea, Pokemon Blue Sea, is one of my favorite openings of any game. You know, where, where it's just utter nonsense. I'm cool with that. It's, um... It, it's when it just gets to be so... depressingly dull. I mean, Star, Star Road... Let, let, let's compare the two. Mario Star Road, right? Yeah. Naked guy. Oh, yeah. Um... The, uh, 
Mario Star Road, right? Yeah. What a game. Feels a little warm spot in my heart. It's got varied environments. Someone, someone cared. Like, what? Where is the problem really lie? Uh, is my question about this game. Like, where did things instantly go wrong? When they tr tried to make a different story. You think so? I guess so. I guess it was just always a bad idea. I'm gonna actually. Where is it? We'll use one of these on more money. I'm just looking at this thing from every angle <laughs> and every time it's terrible. But it's not like bootleg green. We play bootleg green. Yeah. Once again. Oh. What? Yeah, I fed a rare, it a rare candy and now it's evolving. Alright. Cool. Yep. This is what Happens in the regular game, too, I guess. Yeah. This isn't anything new, but it's... It's something. I'm glad Mo Money is... Like, I'm just thinking, you know where all the fun parts of this game were? At the start, when it was trying to force all this crazy story on us. Yeah. So he, he front-loaded it, or whatever, with, with a ton of story. Yeah. And now, in the middle, it's just... It's nothing. I mean, there isn't anything happening here. Are you gonna Are you gonna comment on that, Tom? Well, I, I, this game is just bad. <laughs> I, I it's like know. an obligation at this point. That's that's the main issue. Yeah. Hopefully, we can breathe, <laughs> start breathing, seeing through it again. But is it, Tom? Tell me, Advanced Adventure versus Being Crystal. What's well, more streamable? It's I have. I want to say this game is. Really? Yeah, because it's a bit more friendly than being crystal. Is it though? I mean, Tom, let's look at our unified theory of Pokemon Advanced Adventure then. You, you, you will recall that um, uh, basically making fun of poor people is the. Uh, Thing this ga entire game is leaning on. Yeah. And the central plot element is, uh, I don't know, how, how, how poor we are. Yeah. Pokemon Black 2? I don't, I don't know of a way to stream that. If we can find a way to stream that, sure. Yeah. Do you know much about... Have you played much of Black 2? Uh, no, I don't. I think that is the Pokemon game that I've played the least of, actually. Really? Interesting. I hear that it's better than Black 1. Black and White 1. But I don't know. That was an interesting decision on Nintendo's part to even go that well, route. Well, it was Game Freak, wasn't it? Nintendo must have some say in it, right? I don't know who it is at this point. Game Freak, Pokemon Company, Nintendo, one of them. Yeah. And I realize that's one like kind of mistake I made with uh, that review I released recently. Is I, I blame Nintendo for creating the genericness, which is Pokemon Pinball soundtrack. Yeah. And it might have been someone else. Somewhere else down the line. But... Uh, can draw. Huh. This is, it's, I think this is all going to come together. This is going to be something that's a lot better in reflection. And I mean, don't mean better as in like it's going to be fun. Yeah. Because I, I think that that's... Uh, that, that train's left the that, station. Yeah, proverbial <laughs> ship has sailed. But um, I think it'll be all like, oh, remember that time? Really? I, I didn't even know there was a DS simulator for uh, Android yet. That's really cool. What, what is... What is Kindle run, Tom? We just, I'm not much of a tablet guy. It's the thing I know probably the least about. Yeah. We recently got a, a Kindle. Oh, wait, no, not a Kindle. Amazon Fire. Yeah. It? Amazon Fire. Is that Android based? Do you know? I don't I think know. it is. Or maybe it's I know one thing, Amazon Zone OS. I can't, I can't or play, play the tablet games like that. Why? Because no buttons. 
Oh, okay, my, my... sure. Ash, you truly are a hero. Please go forth and take down Gary. It's just so lame that they can't even come TM3. up with any, any new dialogue. Right, it is the right, same thing seven, every seven. time. Oh my god. Battle me. me. Henderson. Okay. I knew a guy named Henderson. Well, I don't. His first name wasn't Henderson. His last name was Henderson. Hmm. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I knew him. I no longer know him. Though every once in a while I see him at Walmart. Hmm. With his mom. Which is weird because he's about as old as I am. Hmm. Anywho. That was a pretty interesting detour. Oh, Pokemon Advanced Adventure. You're like a black hole of joy. Look at that. No, no. I'd be interested in seeing, because I, we used to have, we have a Nook. Which is like, I don't know who is behind Nook. That I, tablet I, I, I brand. I thought it was like Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble? That would make sense. Um, and that can play like, that was playing Famicom games and stuff. Yeah. We got that playing Famicom games, I think, Super Nintendo games. Like, it's a cool idea. I, I just would like to get like a Bluetooth um, uh, Bluetooth controller for it. Yeah. You know, that, that would make it perfect. Right, that's that's the thing though. It's like, I'm, I think Tom, this is what Tom was saying anyway. I need like a physical thing to, to press. Yeah. It feels weird to me hitting buttons on a screen. And I, I guess a lot of people are used to that at this point. And I could probably see myself eventually getting used to it. But it's just weird. Now, RPGs, like Pokemon, that's kind of, like, Heng? Heng, that's a pretty strange thing. It is. Um, RPGs are kind of the exception, but I still find it strange. I played through a, a little bit of Earthbound on a tablet, and that yeah. was pretty good. But, in general, if I can, I, I like a physical controller, which is what worries me about the NX. Yeah. Because I really do not want to have to rely on the touch screen that much. Until touch screen is so one to one that I don't have to worry about it. And I don't think it is yet. So um, just have to see going into the future, but I don't know. This isn't looking so good. Tom, I believe in you. Hmm. You you can do this. Thank you. Now now I know I now, can... now now you now you got you got what it takes. Yeah. Did, like, think about it, all the great stuff was the beginning. Locutus, that stupid robot design, <laughs> never topped. Also, here's a question. Plot hole. Plot hole time. Oh. Tyrant Pokemon, right? Yeah. What, what gives them their tyrant abilities, according to the game? Uh, drugs? How does drugs give you a metal arm? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Really? I, I've not not heard anything like that. That's a, a 3DS emulator? I I thought that 3DS and Wii U were still, still unemulated. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I guess 3DS makes sense at this point. It's been it's been out for a, a really long time. Yeah. That would be interesting. I wonder if there's any ROM hacks of X and Y out there. Mm, yeah, I doubt it. You don't think so? Well, maybe, maybe. I don't think they'd be as in depth as this is, even though this isn't really. Yeah, this active. doesn't really have that much depth to it. Yeah. Ninety-five percent of the dialogue is exactly the same. I don't even think that's an exaggeration. Do you, Tom? No, it's not. I mean, legitimately, I think ninety-five percent of the the text is exactly the same. Also, wonderful map design. Top notch. Love it. Just. Have to surf around everything. Tom, just remember what Ronald McDonald said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep my my hand to the left of the main. A three D S emulator. That is really cool. Thanks for sharing that. I'm gonna have to investigate that because I I didn't even know. And there 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 are a few games that'd be cool to stream. Yeah. Not that we would ever condone using an emulator. That's just crazy talk. Yeah. 
I think right now, as far as Wii U emulation goes, which is another thing I'm interested in, even though I don't think that we'd be able to run anything. Yeah. Like, uh, is Mario Kart 8, they're getting emulated right now. Hmm. Which is really cool. I mean, it's, it's all just really amazing what these these people are able to do, essentially, ah. in the free time. I'm, I'm familiar with Coolerom. I thought they got, um hit though with some copyright claim from Nintendo and all their Nintendo ROMs were were taken down. I'll, I'll take a look at what what all they got maybe sometime. Which is interesting because that kind of leads back into something I mentioned last stream about how Nintendo ironically may have stolen a Mario yeah. Super Mario Brothers ROM off the internet and used that as their virtual console for the virtual console game. Mm -hmm. Which would all of a sudden make a little bit of sense with Earthbound Zero's release and how it was exactly like the one that was readily available online. Yeah. Maybe they didn't go into their archives like we thought they might have. <laughs> Maybe they just went, oh, here's freeroms.com. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nintendo would never do something like that. I think they would, though. It just gave me the idea, like, if I was making a console in the modern modern landscape of how games are. Zyg Zygmunt. Is that is that how Sigmund Freud's name is yeah, like in native yeah. language? Yeah. I'm thinking like if I wanted to make a video game console. Like say that I'm making something like a a small indie project along the lines of the retro BGS slash Coleco Chameleon, but not a ripoff. Yeah. Alright? Like I'm not stealing people's money and trying to trick everybody. One one thing I would have is that the games I'd have available for download yeah. would be patchable. I'd have like a patching thing inside of it. So, in the case of Mario 64, if you're buying a Mike and Games console yeah. and we have Mario 64 on our system for download, you download it and you got an SD card with a, a patch for it that you want to apply, Yeah, pop it in there, and it'll automatically patch the game with, with like, Star Road. Now, that might seem kind of, I mean, unlikely. But really think about it. Like, a lot of companies have embraced the modding community. Like, uh, Valve has in particular, and, um, uh, was it Bioware or Ubisoft? Those guys, too, you know. Whoever's, was it Bethesda is buying Skyrim in Fallout? Anyway, you know, yeah. they have all embraced the, the modding community to a certain extent. If I was in charge of a, making my own little independent console here, I would note that and make an easy way for the people, for, for people who, who are buying my console to get what they want on, on the console. To, to, you know, just make it easier. I, I think that's something that uh, everyone should realize, maybe. If, and that's why the PSP ended up being uh, popular to an extent, was yeah. because you could load it with emulators and stuff. People are going to use your machine in any way they can to do what they actually want to do. Yeah. So so why not make it easy? Why not make that a selling point? Not not sure how reasonable that is, but that's where I'm coming from. <sighs> well, now we've exhausted that discussion topic. That's too bad. Back to Advanced Adventure. Zygmunt's a really weird name. It is. That's a lot of money, at least. That's more money, Tom. Oh no, more money's poisoned. Can you... do we have a poison? We probably do. Yeah. I thought we Ash had one so more stupid. badge, but I guess no. No, this is all brand new. Hmm. Hmm. If we what? really had to, we could, like, fly back to... Uh... A town. No. Hmm. Because we have the Fly HM. Hmm. Spe speaking of Nintendo, uh, oh thanks, uh, Happy Easter to you too. Um, what's that, the three days from now, right? It's Sunday. Sunday? I think that's three days from now. And I was right. I'm looking forward to, to Easter. But for no, I guess no particular reason. Yeah. I just think it'll be kind of fun. Um, rare candy. Got the one that I used to replace. Got one to replace the one that I used. 
I can't go through that. No. <laughs> oh, the a grass. A Ash has to walk in, in perfect geometric shapes. And, and that wouldn't have worked. Okay, then. Okay. Yes. <sighs> I hate the you, you, you don't like that? Tom, there's a puzzle is, around every corner. Wait, is is there no, no way to go forward from here? Can't, oh, okay. Okay, here it is. Oh. I thought, it, you see, it's kind of weird because in some games, um, even the, the top of that tree would be a yeah. a barrier to an invisible wall. Erase that one. Slash that one. Erase. 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 Ugh. No. Jojo. Okay, we're coming to a cave. Oh, pretty, Let's read, read the, the sign. sign. What well, we, we can't. This cave looks weird. Cave, cave of, of no return. return. This game is a cave of no return. Can't read that sign either. Hit him on top. Okay. Do we want that? No, we don't. No. More money's almost knocked out, Tom. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm worried. I'm scared. We have 27 hyper potions. Yeah. Should any of our guys be knocked out then? If we had so many hyper potions? No. Fine, I'll revive some. Everybody come back. I think I'll give somebody new the experience share now. Somebody like just say no or dirt weed. <laughs> Wait, is Locutus up to a good level yet? Apparently good. I guess. Yeah, I'd probably just say no, right? I don't remember what dirt weed sings. Yeah, another cave. I, I, I'm so excited. Caves and Pokemon. Well, just, caves in this game are just. Oh yeah, I. <laughs> you just face. remembered. I forgot. And this was called the Cave of No Return, which okay. is very edgy and original, by well, the way. Well, we'll be able to return from it, I'm sure. Um. Hmm. Who do we want to level? Guess just say no. Don't matter to me. You could not be less interested. <laughs> Actually, I could be, honestly. Oh, no, I, I'm, my, my mind is currently stimulated by the prospect of how bad this might be. Give you the experience share. Right. Uh, I'll just. I'm gonna keep more money in the front. Cause why? Oh, a hike. No. Oh. Whoa, Heracross. I think you're all out of aerial aces. Oh, well then somebody else is gonna be up front then. <laughs> nice, nice plan. <sighs> no, I guess not. No, we'll just. Right. We'll just battle me, it. Tom. Battle me. Battle me. Battle me. Why? Oh, that was Loopy. Different. Fan. Okay. It's just like that show. Yes, just like that show. Just. How how many stars out of ten would you give One Piece, Tom? Uh, a couple. What arbitrary star star rating would you assign to to One Piece? Uh, this is regular money, Tom. Oh yes, regular money. Money the first. Steelix is a really cool Pokemon. Part in. Wait, is a uh, is Steel weak against water too? No, it's part ground. Oh, that's right. why it works so well. All right. Really tough. We were really we were prepared for for another cave though, so that we won't have to go out of the cave. <laughs> We we came prepared with the hyper potions. I don't. Know I wasn't where expecting I'm going. this. Is cave, so honestly. open that I don't know where to go. Uh, <sighs> a lot of the, uh, the more uncommon Pokemon it seems. Guilt. What was this guy's name? Make sure to slow down at the end so you can see this guy's name.
Zoro. Oh. oh okay. That's interesting. So we were kind of right, weren't we? Yeah. I, I, don't, well, I, I don't know if we formally predicted that, but the One Piece reference seems to have been appropriate. I guess right, that, it kind of makes sense. Um, Let's see what else you have. As this guy is, is a Dragon Ball Z fan, it's not surprising that he's a fan of other anime. And One Piece is probably the most popular anime in Japan, still to this day. Sand Slash. From what I know of anime. Which isn't much. Yeah. Tom knows about the anime, though. What's the best anime, Tom? Well, Lay it on me. I don't know the best anime. I feel like we've already tried to have this conversation before, anyway. And I probably oh, went just Death as well. Note, maybe? Yeah, I feel like that's what we came up with last time, too. Death Note's good. Sanji. Oh, okay, look at that, that definitely. <sighs> yayo, yayo. Dreaming. Dreaming. Uh, I, I wish that. I wish. Is there any show like that today? That, like, the modern youth can experience where it was like a, a completely bastardized version of the Japanese I don't version because one piece is the greatest example of that where, where they they have the character that smokes and they turn it into a lollipop or something yeah and that's May maybe and then they have a rap opening I guess Dragon Ball GT Dude, that was already a terrible show though yeah but that had a rap opening that was just Ridiculous. That was weird. We found a... We found a ladder. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. There's no way this escape. is going to be... Roy... Roybin? Robin. R-O-Y-B-I-N? That's how you spell Robin? I, I think that's what they're going for. I, I maybe they thought Robin was too effeminate. And they didn't want to give anyone the wrong idea that this guy might have a name that kind of sounds like a female name, kind of, a little bit, if you have, like, prior knowledge at all. So they changed it to Roybin. I've never seen Robin spelled like that. I think, I think that this guy's, I don't know, I trying to make it. He's, I think he's a one weird guy. That's what I think. That's probably true. I lost. Wouldn't it be great though if they said something like, like made like a stupid? I'm gonna become king yeah, of the pirates. I mean, like, wouldn't that be great? That would be wonderful. It, then we could be like, oh, that's the the dumbest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> but then enjoy it. Yeah, but then it'd be like, uh, you see, Tom, because this is where you're wrong early when you said that no one likes to watch people play bad games. Bad games can be an ultimate, can be like one of the greatest sources of entertainment. I, I remember Vine Sauce. Ooh. I don't want it. You don't want Scizor? No Scizor for me. That was actually a legitimately cool thing. I'm glad that you got rid of it. Bumbo. This guy's name is Bumbo. Oh, oh. I guess they, they left... Oh, wait. Was there... I don't know. I don't know all of my animes. Bumbo. I don't... I'm not familiar with that. Is that a One Piece? No, I don't think so. I was thinking Vine Sauce did this great playthrough, and I don't know if you can find it anymore. Like, it's an entirety of this game called Mario Chaos Complex. And, like, not only was it, like, a really terrible Mario hack, right? Yeah. But there was a bunch of voice boxes scattered for the whole thing of the guy talking directly to the player, like, oh, this is my hack. I hope I hope you enjoy it. Um, there's a lot of great new features and stuff in it. It is all, like, in a broken English type thing. It was quite excellent. It was probably one of the funniest videos I've uh... ever seen. Maybe not ever seen, but funniest in that style. What's he doing? Protect. Oh. Big boy. I guess they gave up on the One Piece theme. Oops. So, what's better to use, water or fire on a steel type? Well, that, that was a steel ground type, though. Okay, give me, in terms of Steelix. Okay, Steelix, I think, uh, I think water types better to use. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I probably should have used water types. Yeah, see. I'm thinking, okay, so, in Gen 2 they added dark types and steel types. Right. Yes. 
when was what was the next type they added in when? Do you remember? Was it fairy type in the recent game? Have they not added a type since then? Hmm. 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 You, you don't remember? I don't. Shame on me. Indeed. Mac and Cheese. Really running out of names now, I guess. Maybe if you didn't have so many encounters in your game, you wouldn't have to work so hard to come up with these names. Yeah. Pseudo Wudo's weird, but I really like it. Shuckle. I like Shuckle too. This guy's just got a, a team, a great team. Shuckle's un underappreciated. I don't know. I feel like he's appreciated, like as a Pokemon by himself, but he isn't going to be ever used. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Shuckle needs. I isn't Shuckle like the Pokemon that can deal the most damage, theoretically? I think so. Something like that. It's like a crazy amount that would never, you'd never need to uh, use ever. But uh, I'm trying to think of something interesting to talk about, like maybe school gave me an interesting topic. I have this discrete math class, and that usually has a lot of interesting stuff. But off the top of my head, I, ca I can't think of anything in particular that was a standout. Do you want moment. this Pokemon? I don't care that much. We're probably not going to use it, right? So it doesn't matter. <sighs> Making me... I'm going to catch it, then. Oh. Okay. And there we go. Here we go. We got this scrape ball, and it's it's going straight for its face. Here in five minutes, we're going to... Oh. Um, yes, I would love a question about the Force Awakens, but if you could, um, if you could hold that question for about 10 minutes or so, if, if that's not too much to ask, we gotta take a break at four, and then we're coming back with the second half of this, which will go on for, uh, a longer time, but I, I'd, I'd love to do some Star Wars discussion. We're still doing that Star Wars stream sometime. What name should we but, give it? Oh, did you catch it? Yeah. Um. Let me look here at the back of this. Let me look at the nutrition packs on this bottle of water to get inspired. How about... Let me see here. Unsurprisingly, there aren't, there aren't a, a lot of words on the back of water because uh -huh. this isn't that fancy water that <laughs> that was the greatest hit ever when when they were showing that bottle of water and it said gluten free on it it's like oh no way um let's see here well we'll come back and we'll we'll name them okay. we'll see you guys in very shortly okay bye bye